Hi, in this video, I will be showing you how you can connect Google Form into your ClickFunnels account. This is especially important when you want to use like a custom forms inside your ClickFunnels account, which is not uh, based on the normal ClickFunnels form that's available. Because ClickFunnels, the forms focus a lot more on opt-in. But if you want to have like more different kind of questions, it is always good to have a separate form like example, for example, Google form to be linked inside of the ClickFunnels account. So if you are new to this channel, do subscribe to this channel to help this channel grow. Uh, I talk a lot about digital marketing and if these topics or this niche interests you, do subscribe to this channel. And let's jump into my computer and I'll show you how you can do this. Okay, let's first start off uh, by being in your Google account. This is my Gmail account. So in order to find the forms, right, you just have to click on these nine dots, Google Apps, and then you find for forms. Okay, as you can see, it is not here, right? You cannot see the Google form. So all you have to do is just click more from Google and then you just search for. When you search, you type control F. That is for PC, right? And then you type forms. And then you search, it'll be here. Or you can alternatively, you can just scroll all the way down and you can see forms here. So you just have to click on it and then you just say, go to Google forms. And then you'll be in Google form. So there's a few forms. I will open a new form. So in this form, you can put any question. For example, Jen, what is your business? Business. Then you can put multiple choice. So you can put paragraph, short answers, right? And then you can just um, add a question. How much revenue? Short answer. So just example of these three questions, right? What is your business? How much revenue per year? And what is your biggest challenge? Okay, all right. So once you're done with the form, all you have to do is just click preview and then you get to see your forms questions, right? So you just have to answer, answer, answer and submit. Okay, next, uh, let me just go to my ClickFunnels account. So this ClickFunnels is an identity page. So I, when I started this, it's just I just created it as a blank page, but it can be done easily. So um, all you have to do is just go to, go to for example this uh, column or section, right? Then you just click on this plus button, add new element, and then you find for HTML, HTML. Then you can put custom JS or JSON or HTML. So you click on here, then you open code editor then you just put your code here. So where do you get this code? You go back to your Google form. Okay, so now how do you share this form? All you have to do is just click on send, right? And then you can see, you can collect email address. Uh, that, is, that is, if you put an email address option here, but currently we, are just, we just want it as a form, right? So you can just, uh, you just play around with this. And then uh, we do not want to send through email, so you can get the link. So this is the link that you can send to everyone else in order for people to fill up the form. You can put shorten the URL, then it become a, a URL shortener. So you can send this, this link to anywhere in the social media, etc. so that people can just click and fill out the form. But what we want now is the code to put inside ClickFunnels. So when you click on this left arrow, right arrow, and then you get to see there's embedded form, the HTML. So there's a width, which is the height and the width and the height. So it's up to you to edit it later, whether you want it to be or not. So currently it looks like this. So the size will be like that, right? So just copy, Ctrl A to select everything. Ctrl C to copy the, the HTML. Come here and then just Ctrl V, right? Then just close and you save. So next thing you do, next thing you do is preview. When you preview, you can see that the form will be here and you can just fill out accordingly. So the size you can change. For example, you click on here. So the, the size can change, uh, the width, the height, or you can change here. You can put like, for example, the width like 100%, uh, like, like 800, right? For example, save. So you can see it's bigger now. So you, you, you have to play around, depends on your, form, on your form size. It's up to you how you want to put the size of this. Now you notice one thing is that it is to the left side. So I'm going to teach you a little bit code inside ClickFunnels, where you can put this at the center. So all you have to do is just go back to the code, right? Click on the settings, go to open code editor, 
I just type in this this word this center type in this code center I think this is all the code that you need for this uh, center so I'll put in this code inside the inside my description box below so just go ahead and, and use it to, to center your form in the middle click X then save it then you just go here and you refresh there and when you refresh it is at the middle so it looks nicer right now and yeah that's it yep that's it that's how you can connect google form into your ClickFunnels account if you like what i share uh, do subscribe to this channel uh, feel free to comment in the comment section below like this video share to anyone who might need it and if you have any comments do feel free to hit me up in all my social media account and also in the comment section below i'll read all your comments and i'll reply to all of them and yeah do subscribe to my channel and i see you in my next video goodbye